Do you always want to get that cool look on your final render or on your photograph or film? Well, stick around and I'll show you how to do that. This video has been made possible by Rebus Farm, their professional render service. Okay guys, well today we're going to talk about LUTs. We're going to talk about LUTs as in lookup tables. LUTs are typically used in film to, uh, you know, color correct or color grade footage. But what a lot of people don't know is you can actually use LUTs in Photoshop as well. Now, whether you are a 3D modeler and you want to get your final render to look good, or you're a photographer or in film, uh, this will apply to you uh, no matter what, okay? So we're gonna look at how to get free LUTs, a bunch of them. I'm gonna put all the links below. I'm gonna put the link to the um, reference image below. I'm gonna show you how to install them and how to use them, okay? Here we go. Okay guys, well, you probably know that I have two channels on YouTube. I have a 3D modeling, rigging, texturing, and animation um, YouTube channel, and I have a uh, YouTube channel dedicated to photography and film, all right? Now, this tutorial applies to both, and I'll explain. We're gonna talk about LUTs today. Lots and lots of LUTs. So what is a LUT? A LUT is a lookup table. It's typically used in film to uh, color grade or color correct footage. So let's say you have a section of film that you want to look like, uh, I don't know, 1880 Wild West. You can apply a kind of a preset over your footage to change the colors in the scene so it looks like it's 1880, right? Now, there are all sorts of LUTs, and I will put links below so you can download a bunch of them for free. And I'm gonna show you how to use them and how to apply them in Photoshop. So we're not gonna apply them to film, we're gonna apply them to photos. Now, the reason why that is so important for both 3D modelers and uh, you know photo and film fanatics is, for 3D modelers, your end result is typically a render, okay? And if you modeled, let's say, a vintage airplane, it would be pretty cool to have that final render shot look vintage, okay? So that's the point. All right, so uh, without further ado, how do we get this um, uh, file? Uh, I'll put links below, but how do we apply it in Photoshop, okay? So this is the file that I downloaded. It's called a uh, ketone vintage Kodachrome uh, cube, and cube is a LUT file format, and we need to put that in the right place in the Photoshop folder so we can use it. Okay, so hang on. Okay, so I looked up the location for my Photoshop. So in my case, it's my PC, it's my C drive, program files, Adobe, Adobe Photoshop CC 2017, the presets folder, and in that folder, you have a folder called 3D LUTs, okay? So I copied that file in there, and you can see that there are already a lot of LUTs files in there. That's the one we're gonna use. So now that it's in place, we can jump into Photoshop. Here we go. All right, so we're in Photoshop. This is the image that I'm gonna use, and uh, it's uh, free for commercial use, so I'll put a link below as well, so you can use the same image if you like. And we're gonna apply that LUT file to this file, okay? So we got our image open. I'm gonna reset the workspace. We're gonna to go to Windows, Workspace, and Reset Essentials, so we're all on the same page. And then with this selected, I'm gonna to go to the Adjustment tab right here you got properties and adjustments i'm going to go to adjustments i'm going to click on that little square grid type thing right there and that will allow me to download or to uh, get a drop down menu here and select one of the lot files now the one that we use is a uh, ketone vintage so let's just click on that and see what happens okay well as you can see it's a complete preset we just have to click on it and it's applied right now let's say that we want to use another one. We'll just uh, click on this again, and let's see, there seems to be a default one called Horror Blue, so let's do that. Yeah, there you go. Looks like, a, I don't know, a vintage 1970s Scream movie maybe. And we'll do one more, just for good measure. Let's see, uh, I don't know, Candlelight. Let's see what that does. All right, so that desaturates a bit. So that's basically all there's to it. So what I said, uh, important to 3D modelers for sure, and certainly important for photo fans, okay? So hopefully you enjoyed this very short tutorial. If you have any questions, let me know. All the download links for the free LUTs and for the reference file can be found below. Okay, have fun. Well, thanks for watching. And before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time, bye.